It is the 23rd anniversary of 9-11, and celebrities are roaming the Cantor Fitzgerald trading floor today, calling clients in an effort to raise money for Cantor Fitzgerald, as well as their own charities. Bloomberg's Shanali Basak is there, and she joins us live now with one of those celebrities, an NFL star. Shanali? Yes, you may remember Rob Gronkowski, of course, of NFL fame here, formerly of the Patriots, now here for Charity Day at Cantor Fitzgerald. What brings you here? Well, this is actually my third year coming here uh, with Cantor Fitzgerald, and this is my third year in a row coming with my girlfriend, Camille, as well. And uh, when I first heard about it, you know, first got asked to come, I thought it was a no-brainer. I mean, Cantor Fitzgerald just does such a great job remembering those that were fallen, you know, that were that are deceased uh, from the 9-11 event in 2003 that occurred. So just it's just an amazing tradition what Cantor Fitzgerald is doing just to remember everyone, you know, that has passed away and just bringing awareness uh, to that situation and just raising money for great causes out there as well. And today we're actually raising money uh, for my foundation as well to the Gronk Nation Youth Foundation, which is really cool. At the end of the day, too, what's been interesting is watching you and many other celebrities here placing trades. What are you thinking about in terms of uh, your career now after football? Well, you seem to be quite the businessman. Yes, I am quite the businessman, that's for sure. Um, I'm doing a lot of things out there. My favorite opportunity is a, a new salad joint, um, new salad venture <laughs> that, I've, that I've invested into. I'm a co-founder, and it's actually just started in the Florida area in the Tampa um, you know geography we got three stores now we're gonna be just expanding rapidly but uh, also here I want to bring the stock market back I heard it's down right now with the election thing and everything that's going on so I'm here at Cantor Fitzgerald to do some trades I want to do the biggest trades of the day and bring that stock market so it's just booming back you know back up to the sky well we'll absolutely let you know where the day ends today you know I'm also interested in other forms of business and sports together we have seen recently the NFL approve private equity interest in teams really curious about where you think that's gonna take things moving forward well I mean I, I didn't know about that you know that's the first time I was aware of that situation I I really don't know how that works the private equity you know with teams in the NFL um, I mean I'm not at that stage of being an owner of a team or participating be? of being an ownership of a team uh, well, yes I would love to own a team I mean I feel like the NFL only goes up and up and up and Tom Brady is actually on the verge of owning a team and what an excellent gig to get into that would be amazing if he does because then he can maybe break the barrier of players getting in to ownership so hopefully Hoping that all falls through and uh, he deserves it as well everything that he has done for the game but with the private equity stuff that we're talking about I don't not too familiar with it so I really can't comment too much you know your former teammate you mentioned Tom Brady here starting his career as an announcer for Fox how do you grade his performance? Yes, he did really well. I feel like he was a rookie out there, a highly anticipated rookie. I mean, there was a lot of hype. I think there was a little bit more hype than there should have been. I mean, I kind of put him on a pedestal of that he had to perform like he was shot out of rocket ship. But I think he did an excellent job, and I feel like he's just only going to improve. I know him personally. He loves to improve. He likes to work on anything, any, any chance he has to... You know, any opportunity he has to get better, he's going to do. And he's just going to improve week in and week out. And uh, I, give him a, I give him a passing grade. You know, he got the win in his first, job, in his first you know, opportunity of being an analyst. What about you? What is your future media career looking like? You see that deal that Amazon struck with the Kelsey Brothers, a $100 million podcast deal. Mm -hmm. Do you want something like that? Um, maybe, you know. I just want to do some stuff that I love to do. Like I said, I got into business um, co-founding the salad place. Actually, I'm a co-founder of my brother's company to Ice Shaker and uh, the only thing I only reason why I have this on me because I thought it looked cool with my shoes and I put my protein shake in here this morning because I was on the go and spilled a little bit of it right here but uh, that's what happens but uh, lo love just getting into the business world I mean I'm actually starting a podcast with Julian Edelman as well and we're actually filming our first two episodes this Friday coming up we're gonna film the first two and then we're gonna release it once every week on Thursday nights um, throughout the football season so that'll be fun I mean I I'm enjoying what I'm doing, you know. Um, that's what it's most important. I mean, I'm set for life for my football career, and it's really about enjoying and doing what I love to do. And hanging out with Julian and that crew um, is fun. Hanging out with the Fox guys um, when I do the Fox gig of the pregame show. Uh, that They're great guys to hang out with. And just all the business ventures I'm, I'm in as well. They're with my friends and family and love to do all that, too. So I'm happy where I'm at. Just 20 seconds. 
Too early to ask you who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? Oh, man. I mean, I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be the team. I mean, you got to knock them off. I mean, I had Baltimore maybe being it, but they just showed it, showed it once again that they can't beat the Chiefs, that they can't, you know, amp up their game when needed. They can't win the big game. So I'm going to go with the Chiefs again. I mean, going for the three-peat, I mean, hey. Rob, thank you so much for your time. Of course, that is Rob Gronkowski. Scarlett. Back to you. All right, Shanali Vasek, thank you so much. Rob Gunkowski making the call that he is looking for the Kansas City Chiefs to be three-peat Super Bowl champions.